Doesn't that look good? Well, my husband had a craving for glumki, which is Polish cabbage rolls. It was one of his favorite recipes that his mother used to make. And his grandparents came straight from Poland in the early 1900s. Now, I am not Polish, and I believe Polish cooking sometimes is a bit bland, but I'm trying to add just a little bit of spice to this and still make it like Klumpki. Each Eastern European country seems to have their own recipes for cabbage rolls. Uh, some actually add bacon to it. I think in Turkey, I think they call it sarma, and they um, use a fermented cabbage for the rolls, kind of like a sauerkraut tasting. So some have it tart, some have it sweet. But this is my recipe. So for the sauce, a lot of people use Campbell's condensed tomato soup. I know my mother-in-law did. You would use two cans of this and one and a quarter can of water. Now, if you like it a little tangier, you could put three-fourths cup vinegar and the rest to be water. But I am going to use a combination of this and my home canned roasted tomato soup. You should preheat your oven right now to 350 degrees, but hey, if you got all day, you can make it in your slow cooker. If you put it on low, it'll take six hours, on high, four hours. For the filling, I'm using one pound lean ground beef, one half pound ground pork, one cup cooked rice, and you might want it more al dente, you know, slightly undercooked, one large onion diced, two tablespoons garlic minced, one half teaspoon salt, one half teaspoon black pepper, one half teaspoon onion powder, one teaspoon paprika, and one half cup of the tomato sauce we're going to make. Many recipes add dill to the dish, but dill is a very intense herb and I think it can really overtake the taste of the entire dish but if you do like dill then add a half a teaspoon now for the filling you can use any meat you want or you could even use diced mushrooms if you wanted to have more of a vegetarian selection but you can use ground beef ground pork ground turkey ground chicken ground lamb or even ground venison it's up to you. Put in our ground beef. And half a pound ground pork. A large onion. Our rice. Let's mix that up. also want our garlic and all of our spices and our sauce. I'll be back when I get this all nice and mixed up. There we have it. Now we'll set it aside a minute. Hi, I'm Prepper Potpourri and I have been making cooking, canning, gardening, emergency preparedness videos for over a decade on YouTube. So I'd appreciate it if you push that like button and subscribe if you don't want to miss a single video. Thank you. So I put my cabbage in here to see how much water the pot will hold so I don't have too much water in there. And when I put the cabbage in, the boiling water it's going to go all over my cooktop. Now I'll get this up to boiling. Many ways different to do this, but what I do is cut off about oh, a half inch of the bottom. Okay. You see then some of the leaves will just fall right off. But 
we don't want this outside leaf because it's pretty yucky. Okay, kind of look at the rest. And maybe not this one either. Okay, the fun part, and sometimes not so fun part, is preparing the cabbage leaves. You have to get the leaves off the cabbage without tearing them. And that's not as easy as it sounds. So we're going to boil our cabbage just a little so it'll be easier to remove the leaves. Put our cabbage in there. And this is going to... Oops! Yep, you knew I'd do that, right? At least I didn't get any boiling water on me. Now, I'm going to cook it for about eight minutes, flip it after four minutes, and we'll be back. Some of the leaves are just falling right off, but we're not done yet. Okay, carefully. There we go. Now let it cool a minute. Now you can see I've been taking off some of the leaves, so you just want to be very careful. Okay. There we go. Just going to keep on doing that until you get maybe about 12 leaves or so. I've taken off a lot of large leaves, but the inside here needs to boil a little bit further so they'll be easier to take off. Now you want about 12 to 13 leaves. I think I have 12 or 13 here. So now I'll show you how to roll them. Okay, this is a smaller piece. Now. You want to cut out in a V, the heavier, like the stem right here. This can be a little chewy, and we don't want that. So we're going to cut that out. Since it's smaller, I'm using the 1 fourth cup measure. And we kind of want to shape it just a little. Okay, so we're going to put this up. Put, wait a minute, put this like this, put both sides in like this, and then I'll try to do this, and then you're just going to be rolling it. And that's all there is to it. You got your nice little bundle. Now, you don't want your leaves too cold because then they will tear. And if you do get a tear, you can always put one other leaf kind of over that tear portion, and then when you roll it, it should be just fine. Here is a bigger one. Again, let's just cut out from right here. Mm. Which I just ate because I love them. And now we're going to use a half a cup because this is a bigger one. Again, let's just shape it a little. Okay, put it in our sides here. Up, over, and there you have it. I'll be back when they're all done. Now, this is leftover cabbage. I like to just shred it and put it in the bottom of my 9 by 13 casserole dish. That kind of protects the actual cabbage rolls for not browning and it makes it easier to clean up the pan. There they all are. Don't they look nice? All wrapped in their little cabbage blanket. And now we have this much meat left over. So what I do is I just put it in between. any of the meat. Now we're going to pour our sauce over top. Doesn't that look good? Now I'd like some more sauce so I am using that tomato soup. And I put it 
in this pint jar and add it, oh, maybe three-fourths a cup of water to it because I want a little bit more. I like to smother it. There, doesn't that look good? Okay. Yeah, now I'm just putting a little parsley flakes on top just to make it look a little prettier. Now we're going to pop it in a 350 degree preheated oven for 90 minutes. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Doesn't that look good? So I did check. You want to have at least 165 degrees inside and we do. Now we're just going to let them cool just a minute and then dish up. Okay, time for the taste test. Here they are, they're still cooling off. I thought I just cut one open a little. There we go. Doesn't that look good? So let it cool a minute and then we'll do our taste test. My favorite part, the taste test. Where often I burn my mouth. Let's see if this will be the exception. Mmm. Cabbage just melts in your mouth. Get some more here. very satisfying meal and now you can say you ate well pepper potpourri's version of glumpke hope you try it at home and as always share the knowledge thank you okay everybody can eat <laughs>